Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta struck a reconciliatory note or tone today as he hosted interfaith national prayers held at State House Nairobi. The president asked for forgiveness from those he may have offended, saying he has also forgiven those who have crossed his path. Deputy President William Ruto, who has in recent weeks been seen to be openly at odds with the president, also attended the State House prayers. Chamatai Goin reports. It was the second national prayer meeting since COVID-19 landed in the country. The prayers coming at a time when political temperatures are beginning to rise. The main trigger being the intensifying faction squabbles in the governing Jubilee party. I believe God is doing a new thing in this country. President Kenyatta struck a reconciliatory tone, asking for forgiveness from those he may have offended and offering forgiveness to those that offended him. Kama kuna mutu mimi nimefanyia makosa, naomba musamaha. Na kama kume, kuna moja wenu wabaye, amenikosea mimi, mimi nimemusamehe. Hiyo ndiyo njia pekee ya kusonga na kuendelea mbele. The president mentioned no names, but in recent weeks, the relations between him and his deputy William Ruto have been a major talking point. The relations were seen as taking a turn for the worse when the deputy president failed to attend the national COVID-19 conference officiated by the president. From the sitting arrangements to the body language, there were loud hints of a relationship going cold. The interaction of the old seemingly replaced by a stiff formality between the president and the deputy president. The cable of Allah don't go in different ways the prayer service led by various religious leaders struck the same unity call with the preachers asking kenyans to embrace each other devoid of their ethnic backgrounds and shun intolerance violence and corruption we know and we believe and we pray that we are fighting corruption. We are fighting tribalism. And those are the blocks of our prayer. Who is it that is committing these crimes? Is it you and I who are coming here to pray? The religious leaders further imploring Kenyans not to let their guard down in the fight against COVID-19, warning that we were not out of the woods just yet. The past few days, the daily updates have shown a surge in the number of infections, raising fears of a possible second wave. Whatever you do and wherever you are, please listen to the voice of the Lord. Be your sister's keeper. Be your brother's keeper. Don't let down that God has helped us the graces we've received are many. Let them not fall to the ground. Wear your mask. The service at State House marked the main activity in the three day of national prayers called by President Kenyatta. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.